the story of the midwife of Auschwitz, I think, is one of the uh, the most profoundly moving and tragic stories that I've ever heard from Auschwitz. And I, I speak as someone who spent years reading as many books as he could about the horrific story of the uh, concentration camp that was set up in occupied Poland by uh, the Nazi Germany regime. John, I think we've done a couple of films actually about this uh, on What's Up Poland. We've talked about it before because the story of the midwife of Auschwitz, Stanisława Leszczynska, is basically completely unknown. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, very, very... Um... I don't know, sad story. I mean, like, uh, I have found I've, I've forgotten. I've forgotten quite a few of the details. So let, I'm let me tell you. To, let me, to, let me to give bring you a, up to speed here. Let me bring you up to speed because this is. I think people watching this probably won't know the story. You can go back and look at this in WhatsApp Poland. Uh, and I did a film about the midwife of Auschwitz because it so deeply impressed me. The story. It was something I'd never heard about. Uh, and you, you, you feel like sometimes you feel like there's everything that you need to know really about that place is kind of already been said and it's you're just hearing stories that kind of repeat themselves i've read many camp survivor stories uh and some similar themes emerge but this is a remarkable story because this is uh the story of stanisław leszczynska who's is a real story was a polish midwife who was arrested um for working in a conspiracy in the polish underground like millions of other poles did uh, and unfortunately was sent to auschwitz where uh, she by a stroke of absolute fortune and on those strokes people survived in Auschwitz or died um was able to resume her work as an as a midwife because of course a certain proportion of the um prisoners that were sent to Auschwitz uh, yeah were pregnant and had to give birth if they weren't executed for whatever reason immediately they they had to give birth and <laughs> amazingly really remarkably this lady, Stanisława Leszczynska, um, did something like, I think it's over 3,000 births and didn't lose a single kid. Yeah. But so tragically, because of course children had no place in this place of no future, uh, the babies were left to, to die um, at, or were cared for by their mothers who were so malnourished that, for example, they couldn't feed them. So it's an, uh, it, there's more stories, there's more details I could give that are just so profoundly upsetting and tragic and hurtful that it's actually hard for me to even talk about them like the fact that uh, rats and rodents would, would 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 feast on these children's bodies you know and even whilst they were alive and they were just too weak to look after themselves so this is the kind of stuff which which chills you to your core but it's a story worth telling and here's the news because it turns out that it looks like uh, according to someone intimately involved in the story hollywood so a, a, an American-based film company might be interested in telling the story of the midwife of Auschwitz, Stanisław Leszczynska. And the reason why is because there has been a book and now a film that's come out written by uh, her great niece, uh, whose name is uh, Maria Stachowska. Now, guess who Maria Stachowska is, John? In fact, I'm, I'm just going to tell you because you, 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 I have you, heard, or, but I'm good. I'm not going to bring I'm not going to take away that pleasure from you, Paddy. It, it would be a bit ridiculous if you told me because the, I, but it, it's it's quite well known now that if, remarkably, uh, Maria Stachowska happens to happens to be the mother of uh, Annie Lewandowska, so Robert Lewandowski's wife, um, which is just pure happenstance. But nonetheless, it just goes to show what remarkable stories come out from the back. Uh, from the backs of remarkable people's lives, Annie Lewandowska, a celebrity in her own right. And Annie Lewandowska actually did a post with her mom uh, talking about the premiere of this film. It's called um, The Midwife, and it's based on the book. And the film has come out, and uh, I think we, we've got to ask our editor, Philip, to um, release, uh, to show just a little bit of the premiere right now as I'm speaking. And it tells the stories of the children who survived because a small number of children actually did survive just a handful um, from Auschwitz when the camp was um, liberated uh, by the Red Army in, in those horrific, uh, the horrific cold of January 1945. So it turns out that Maria Stachowska, when she was at the film premiere, says, guys, I've got some news. Hollywood have contacted me and I've had a film company reach out and it looks like it's a serious offer. Now, of course, um, this film, which is you know, looks really good. Looks like a really interesting documentary. It was actually produced, or, or, or sorry, uh, filmed by Andy Lewandowski's brother. Uh, uh, looks like it could have really catapulted interest along with the book as well. So who knows? Maybe this story is now going to go global, and Stanisława Leszczynska uh, will finally get 
probably the global recognition she deserves alongside other remarkable Auschwitz heroes, like, for example, Vitor Paletsky, um, subject of, of other films we've done. And it turns out that apparently there are the, 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 certain people in cahoots, or there's, there's um, smoke in the sky, that apparently there might even be beatification mm. of Stanislava Leszczynska as well, um, because she was a person of faith, a Catholic woman, and the reason why she didn't kill the children on on the, on delivery, which was actually the orders of the evil Dr. Mengele, um, was because of her remarkable deep faith. So it's a tragic story. It's a remarkable story for the first time ever. It's being told properly uh, with a great book called uh, Pawajna, Midwife, and also um, this documentary film. And it looks like the world is tr- finally starting to take notice of this remarkable lady's sacrifice and, and trouble and turmoil.